Hello there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of March 28th through April 3rd. <laughs> All right, so what we have for Monday, Geminis, is we have the Falling Tower coming up. And the Falling Tower just tells me that there's a big shakeup coming in on Monday. Generally, what happens with a Falling Tower is something that made you feel secure, that you kind of took for granted, you expected it to be there for a very long time, maybe indefinitely, um, is suddenly and surprisingly jerked out of your experience. Um, this can be the end of a relationship, this can be where a job comes to an end, but sometimes this is also just a way of thinking that is jerked out of your experience. All of a sudden you're woken up to um, a new way of looking at things or a new idea that's completely different than what you had before. So your whole sense of security actually shifts when this happens. So this is all about um, security just totally being shaken up and shifted on Monday. Now there's good news with the falling tower though. Because generally what's going on is Sacred Spirit is saying, oh, you're in this nice safe position and you're stagnating, you're not growing, you're not expanding. And um, you haven't really been looking for a place to grow or expand for a while. So guess what? We're going to help you to do that. <laughs> Boop out you go out of that safe place. Um, so the good news of this is that there is an opportunity out there that is better than whatever it was that got booted out of your life so quickly. So big picture, long term, this is actually a positive change, uh, but it's just the beginning of that positive change and the beginning can be very dismaying and upsetting. So once you get your feet back under you and you get your breath back, then you can start putting things back together in a positive way, uh, but could be very upset on Monday. Uh, just know the big picture is that this is propelling you forward in a positive direction. Now Tuesday, what we have showing up Gemini is we have the eight of, Ace of Swords in reverse, excuse me. The Ace of Swords in reverse just means you're gonna be passing along some good ideas to some people in your sphere of influence. So this could be anything from teaching your little uh, child how to tie his or her shoe all the way up to having a huge mega conference for thousands of people and passing along good ideas anywhere in between that. So passing along good ideas on Tuesday, Gemini. On Wednesday, what you have coming up is you have the Seven of Swords. For me, what I'm hearing for you guys on Wednesday is this is picking up the pieces. So to me, this could very easily tie directly into that tower situation. This could be you getting your breath back, getting your feet back under you, getting a good attitude again and going, okay, now what? Putting a plan together, getting ready to move forward. That's what it really feels like to me is just putting that plan together, getting ready to move forward on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, Three of coins in reverse. Three of coins in reverse just means you're doing some kind of work by yourself. So this is not collaborative work. This is work that you're doing on your own. This can be things like filling out, uh, creating your new resume, filling out applications. Um, this can be that you have a project that you've been wanting to work on for a long time and now you're able to work on it. This can be um, working on something around the house. This can be uh, building something for your child. Um, whatever it is, it's just you um, working on something um, solo without um, collaboration on it. This could be you writing a song even. All right, so let's move on to Friday. You have a fantastic card on Friday. This is a Ten of Cups. This talks about happy family life, happy home situation. In a romance reading, this would talk about um, things going to the next level with the relationship. So this could even be um, you and a partner deciding to move in together or um, could be deciding to maybe you've only been dating and you want to go exclusive. Um, could be anything, but basically the Ten of Cups, we're looking at a change of phase. So we're ending one phase and moving up to the next phase and it's a positive change of phase. Um, and that can be really with any relationship. I see it a lot for romantic relationships, but this could also be for a friendship or a business partnership as well. Uh, da, 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 Saturday, you Geminis have the strength card in reverse. This is telling me that there's something that has happened in your life recently that now you're kicking yourself in the butt for. 
generally when I see this card, um, somebody's kicking themselves in their butt in the butt because of something that they really didn't have that much control over to start with. So it's kind of an interesting card. It's it's where maybe something went happen and we just thought, well, you know, I could have done this or what if I would have done that or maybe I should have done this. But if you really step back and get some perspective on the situation, what you realize is, wait a second, it wouldn't have mattered if I had done this or said this or whatever. The course was already set. This other person already had their mind on blah, 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 whatever. And once you get some perspective on it, then you realize, well, you know, I really didn't have that much control of the situation anyway. So why am I so upset at myself? Okay, so try to get yourself some perspective on this. Try not to beat up on yourself because beating up on yourself, guess what? It doesn't help you. It doesn't help anybody else either. Let's move on to Sunday. Sunday. Two of Swords showing up in reverse for you, Geminis. This is telling me you have a decision to make on Sunday and you are procrastinating on it. This is a decision where you're trying to be as fair as you possibly can. It is probably between two people. Generally, when I see this card, this is something like, this is sort of a scenario of um, one person comes to you and gives you one story and another person comes to you and gives you another story. And both of them want you to pick their side, but their stories aren't really matching up. <laughs> it's just a mess, really. And so you're trying to figure out what's the real deal here. And I see you totally procrastinating on this because you're not getting information that matches up. You're not getting all the blanks filled in. And guess what? That's just not going to happen. So to make any kind of decision here, you're going to have to really go on your intuition. And I feel like some of you Geminis are not going to make a decision. You're just going to be very stubbornly saying, I'm not choosing either one of you. You guys are both my friends. I don't care what happened. Whatever that happened, that was between the two of you. Y'all figure it out. Don't involve me in it. I want to hang out with you and I want to hang out with you. So y'all fix it. <laughs> some of you are definitely going to be saying that. I've got that loud and clear here. But some of the others of you, you're just going to be uh, feeling like you're between a rock and a hard place. Like you have to pick one or the other and you don't know which one to pick. And I'm hearing, and with good reason, because you're not hearing an accurate story from either side. What a mess. <sighs> good luck with that one. So anyway, that is your week, Gemini. I'm glad you got that Ten of Cups coming in on Friday. That at least is a good card. Um, anyway, and also Thursday is not bad either. Doing a project by yourself, that's a good thing. Picking up the pieces Wednesday, not so bad. Passing on good information Tuesday, not so bad. Okay, so the week isn't so bad. <laughs> Couple bad spots, not too bad though. Anyway, Gemini, thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out with me, for liking. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I really do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next time. Peace out.